Whenever you create a free trial account, or whenever someone else adds you to their account, you'll get an email welcoming you to Diamond Maps and informing you of your username and password. If you never received this email, make sure and check your junk mail folder because you'll need this information to log into your map. To log in for the first time, open your favorite web browser on your PC, tablet, or phone and enter the address diamondmaps.com. When you get to the Diamond Maps webpage, click the Sign In button at the top and then enter your username and password that was provided in your email. Your username will always be your email address. If you know your username but not your password, click the Forgot Password link and Diamond Maps will email you a reminder. If you ever want to change your password, click the Change Password link. If you're logging in from a computer or other personal device that no one else commonly uses, then check the Remember Me checkbox. Doing so will remember your credentials so that next time you use the map on the same computer, it'll log you in automatically without having to type in your username and password again. You definitely don't want to check this box if you're using someone else's computer, because this will allow that person to automatically log in with your credentials. If you're logging in from the Diamond Maps homepage like we did in this video, then you'll next see a list of maps like this. There's a good chance that you'll just have one map shown here. If you're the manager of your account, you'll see a lot of other details on this same page. Either way, click on the map you want to view and you're finally there. Note that this web address shown in your address bar can be used in the future to take you directly to this map bypassing a couple of the other screens we looked at. So you might want to save this address in your browser's list of favorites or save it as a desktop shortcut. The upper right corner of the map displays who's currently logged in. This is especially useful if you're using a shared computer and you want to confirm that you are logged in as yourself and not the last person who used the map. When you're done using the map you can either click this logout link or just simply close the browser window. Clicking logout not only logs you out of the session but it also prevents you from automatically logging in the next time the map is opened on this device. So if you're on a shared computer and you want to make sure that the next person doesn't automatically log in as you, then always click log out. But if you're on your personal computer, you might want to get in the habit of just closing your browser window without logging out so that you'll be automatically logged in next time.